All right, guys, let's start talking about all the Royal Rumble stuff. Only a couple matches that were on this pay-per-view, but we're going to break them all down one by one, starting off with the pre-show match for the WWE Tag Team Championship. Cody Rhodes and Goldust, otherwise known as the Brotherhood, which they don't really get tagged as that often in WWE, but that's what they're going with on Twitter and stuff. So the Brotherhood against the New Age Outlaws, Road Dog, Jesse James, and Badass Billy Gunn. Uh, pretty good match overall, I think. Uh, it could have gone longer, which is kind of a shame that it didn't. But we are going to see more matches between these two, so why not? It's a pre-show match. It wasn't on the card, so that's another thing where it's you know, a little bit more flexibility. But uh, I liked it, and um, I really liked the outcome of it. Um, maybe it's just because I'm from that era, and there's just something about the New Age Outlaws that I've always liked as like my favorite tag team of all time. And then there's that little nostalgia factor of the idea that they were breaking the record of the longest amount of time between tag team title reigns and stuff. I think that it's cool. Uh, I like the idea that they're the tag champs. I don't want them to be the tag champs for, you know, like a fucking year or anything like that. But as long as they can do it, then what the hell? Uh, whether they drop it at Elimination Chamber or my uh, preference, you have a big tag team match at WrestleMania and you include every single tag team you can possibly include in WWE. A lot of times they like to throw a battle royal at like the pre-show or something of WrestleMania to get a lot of the guys on the card. Fuck that. I say you go hardcore tag team chaos just uh you know you throw the Usos, Cody Rhodes and Goldust, New Age Outlaws, 3MB, fucking two members of the Wyatt family, anything like that that you need. And New Age Outlaws drops it there. But um and they dropped to the Usos. That's who I would want. But uh, as far as this goes, what do you think about this? We're going to go around the horn again per usual. Wego, you a fan of it? It was fucking awesome. I love this tag match. And it was a lot to do with me being a huge mark for the New Age Outlaws. They are my favorite tag team of all time. And I actually had a real mark at moment where I screamed so loud that the cat ripped up my wife's shoulder. So um, I was really fucking happy. <laughs> Uh, not with the cat ripped my wife's shoulder up, but was fucking, uh, fucking <laughs> was really happy. Yeah, fuck you, Jonna. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it was fucking awesome. I marked out um, really happy, and I hope they hold it until WrestleMania, where they should drop it to the Usos in just a straight uh, tag match. They always, and also the um, New Age Outlaws are always fun in hardcore matches, so I wouldn't mind um, them throwing a gimmick into it either. Hmm. Maybe they have the dumpster set up. No. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> Drew, your thoughts on the tag match? Don't have a sprawl? Nah, we don't want that match, do we? Nah, we don't want that. But uh, the tag team match. Hmm. Unfor- shut up. Okay, unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, I didn't get to watch it, mainly because um, I didn't get home in time to watch the beginning of that. I only got, like, I didn't even get into the rumble itself until, like, the pay-per-view until, like, right after the Daniel Bryan match starts. So I unfortunately haven't watched it or I haven't gone back and watched it yet. But you know, I'm, I do like the New Age Outlaws, you know. Uh, <clears throat> my bad. Uh uh, I've, I remember going to a Raw event and they were there, you know, I always thought it's cool this whenever they pop up and, you know, maybe this could lead to the eventual Cody Rhodes Goldust match that everyone to, wanted to see two years ago that not, no one's really excited to see now. But, you know, if they if it leads towards that, then I'm pretty cool with it. Who's breathing into their mic? <sighs> No, it wasn't me before, but I'm just taking <sighs> That reminds me. The, oh, never mind. Not not important. <laughs> Irrelevant. When has that stopped you before? <laughs> Any other thoughts for the Irrelevant? Match? We're talking about Tina. <laughs> <laughs> Any other thoughts about the tag match? Are you talking to me still? Yep. I didn't see it, so nope. Not about that life. We go. Didn't see it. I didn't see the actual rumble. I, I was at work at the time, but I will say this. I've heard good things about it, and the Outlaws can still go. Um, yeah, you know, I I remember when they were in TNA, and I got tired of their gimmick, but I never got tired of their matches. They were always they always put on solid performances, and they're, they're still in great shape for guys their age. You know, Rhodes, the Rhodes brothers have been just knocking it out of the park since they got together. You know, it just... I, I wouldn't be shocked if I'm not shocked that this was a great matchup and it was a great way to start the show the uh, the show off hot uh, in terms of them actually winning the title belts unless it's a transitional thing where they're just they're basically just transitional champions 
I, I'm perfectly fine with that. If it's one of those things where they're going to hold it for a long time, I'm not fine with that because, honestly, I think it should go to something like the Usos. I think they've been dying for a tag team ti- uh, title reign for the longest time. If this gets us to a matchup between those two at WrestleMania, I'm all for it. Peyton, what are your thoughts? Oh, this is fucking awesome. I, I am a longtime fan of the New Age Outlaws. I think it, I'm having an absolute blast seeing them come back. How cool is it seeing both the New Age Outlaws and Goldust coming back, having a match like this, and showing that they can still go better than more than half of the guys on the roster? Freaking awesome. Um, I think the match was a little short, as you were saying, and I think the ending came out of nowhere. Like, I remember just like, what? The match is over? Yeah, oh, the shit, the New Age Outlaws are champions. Hell yeah. <laughs> that, that was pretty much my reaction at the end of it. Um, it's I, Billy's, I, I, too. There's a picture Billy on WWE.com. Yeah, Billy he... not even got the pin, just got the pin. He also got that singles match against, who was it, CM Punk the other night? Mm-hmm. This is like Billy Gunn's getting the most uh, most love out of this whole thing going on here. Because, you know, he hasn't aged a bit. You know, he still looks like he did 15 years ago. According mm-hmm. to JBL. <laughs> <laughs> but if you look at WWE.com and their set of pictures, they actually have a shot, like, right when he uh, hits the Famouser and pins Cody Rhodes, of him like, the fuck, that just happened? <laughs> it's so good. Anyway, Every finish. time he takes off his shirt, I die a little inside. <laughs> oh. um, I'm happy to see New Age Outlaws back for now. I, I also would like to see them hold this no further than WrestleMania. And I think what you should do at WrestleMania is a big tag team, uh, what you would call it, a, a scramble type match. Yeah, um, somewhere you have every tag team come out um, and, and you know keep short little falls in between each set of matches that you have. And then you get a little bit of an exposure for each team. Everybody gets a nice payday. Everyone gets a chance to go out there and shine. Um, and as opposed to what, like, what you were saying, Tony, maybe just having like a big chaos brawl. Um, a lot of people would get hidden underneath that. And they wouldn't get any full time to shine this. At least every single person has solid in-ring time where the lights are on them. The no, lights are on bright, as JBL was saying. That's oh, kind right. of what I meant. Some kind of a, a capacity a that you can showcase all. A gauntlet, tag team turmoil, a scramble, whatever the hell you want to call it. Whatever whatever type of name they want to apply to it. It's just like the freaking hardcore matches. They have a hundred names for it. Bring back the fucking tag team um, tables turmoil. And, and you know who I hope wins it? My my absolute favorite tag team right now, the primetime players. <laughs> yeah! Millions of dollars. Millions oh, of dollars. Spoiler alert. Millions of cereal. Broke... Yeah. Spoiler alert, they just broke up, didn't they? Nah, they'll... What? The Jinder Mahal face, heel turn. What? Back face. What? 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 You watch SmackDown, what? sir? What? Yeah. What? <laughs> this is awkward. You say <laughs> back? All right, so yeah, uh, we all, you know, pretty uh, pretty solid about this New Age Outlaws thing. It seems like they have a cool idea of where they're going to go with this. So, um, looking forward to what they have in the future. And the next part we're going to talk about, Daniel Bryan versus Bray Wyatt. First match officially of the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. 